it's Jennifer Hogland with Gooseberry Gardens and today we're talking about direct seeding our cool season crops. All right, today we're out in the garden. It is about March 21st, um, and we've had a warm spell here for quite a while in Calgary, Alberta, Canada. Um, warm enough to get our beds thawed and ready to go for some cool season planting. Um, these beds here, not all of them are ready, but we can tell they're good to go when our soil is thawed and it's not sloppy wet anymore. So these beds here are going to hold our tomatoes a little bit later in the year, but those aren't going to get planted for quite a while. So we have enough time to get in a quick crop of radishes. They're super fast to grow. Um, today we are going to plant some what are they? Easter egg radishes here in our beds. Uh, you can use uh, rows if you'd like to. I like to use uh, square foot gardening. Um, it allows me to get the absolute most number of vegetables into a small space as possible in a very quick and easy way. So I like to square foot garden. Uh, this thing here is called a planting stamp. Um, if you'd like information on how to make one of these, you can go to gooseberrygardens.ca um, and there's a little uh, article on how to make these really easy to do by hand. I like them because they make planting super quick for me. So all we need to do Make sure our beds are ready. I have come in here, I've given them a quick rake with my garden rake to get them leveled out. And then I've just gone through with my hand here and make sure the surface is nice and level and make sure there's no major rocks in here. Once that's done, we're gonna take our planting stamp, okay, into the soil, give it a press down. It's gonna make nice indentations for us. Okay, one square up. We're gonna do two squares today, just to show. Radishes are planted quite close together, um, so we're using our 16 whole square foot stamp today. All right, there's some other cool season crops that you can plant really early like this as well. Um, many of our greens, Asian greens, Swiss chard, kale, lettuces, all of those are also cool season crops and they can get planted early. Um, some of our root vegetables as well, uh, beets, uh, turnips, uh, rutabagas, all of those guys can also go in quite early. All right, so we're going to put one seed in each hole. Okay, don't worry too much if you accidentally get an extra seed in there. Not a big deal at all. Um, very easy to thin these out once they've sprouted. All you need is some sharp nose scissors um, and use them to cut the sprouts that you don't want off right at ground level. All right, that way we don't disturb the roots of the ones that are going to stay and grow, which is very important. All right, and we want to thin when our plants get to be about one inch tall. All right, and don't forget to keep those plants that you're thinning off and eat those. Those are microgreens, super delicious and super nutritious as well. All right. Once we have our seeds in here, all we're going to do is take our hand and very gently move our soil into our holes here. And then we're going to take our hands and tamp down the soil a little bit. Not super hard. We just want to make sure that our seeds are in good contact with the soil. All right. Don't forget, we need to put a label in here so we know what we planted. Very important. I just use really cheap popsicle sticks that you can get at any craft store and an oil-based Sharpie marker. That way it won't run once they get wet. They are outside after all. All right, once we've got them nice and planted and all tamped down, we are ready to go. All we need left is to water, okay? Make sure you use either a watering can or a spray nozzle on your hose that's got fine holes. Okay, we've made sure that these are spaced exactly the right distance apart and we don't want to move them all around with a really high pressure hose, okay? So we're gonna give them a really good water here. Okay. 
Make sure you give them enough of a soak that the water gets down to where the seeds are. All right, and that's it. Now we're just gonna let them grow. Cool season crops are protected, and the seeds are protected underneath the soil. So they're not gonna start germinating until the soil temperature is right for them. Okay, and that soil is gonna protect them from any frost or snow or cold temperatures that happen before that point. Once they've sprouted, um, they can take quite cool temperatures and a bit of frost. Um, usually if it gets below minus two degrees Celsius or so, I'll put some sort of cover on them once they've sprouted. So a frost cloth or something similar, just until the temperatures warm up again. All right, that's it. Um, that's all you need to know to direct seed cool season crops. Thanks everyone for watching and yummy gardening.